Okay, you guys will definitely know this guy. You, he won't need much of an introduction. Teacher Joe, where are we and what's just happened? Okay, so we're at the Radio Town Hall and we've just had Christopher Luxon, Lion Luxon, um, just just go, you know, have answer about, I think he got through about nine, maybe ten for lucky questions. I think he got very, very uncomfortable, so um, he cut it off. Yeah, quite, quite unfortunate, actually. There was a lot of people um, upset, a lot of people didn't get the opportunity to chat. Um, or to ask those questions because uh, I think he just you know got made to feel uncomfortable in there. And um, like any good leader, when he's uncomfortable, he knows what to do. He pulls the pin. So real, real unfortunate when you've got concerned members there of our community with real questions that that are then you know making the leader of the opposition uncomfortable. It's it's you know pretty very very disappointing. But we know when um, when when a country is run, but you know under tyrannical circumstances. Then um, you know that's what they're going to do. They're going to cut it out, censor things, not let the, you know the word get out there, not let people ask their questions and get their word across. Yeah. Now you've um, got a question in. What was your question? Uh, so I asked when when um, what's you know national's response? What are they going to do when people like me, um, teachers have been first of all mandated out and then kicked out of school? Um, what are you going to do to attract and get teachers back like me who aren't afraid to ask hard questions? And I ask a question around gender ideology that's backed by the United Nations and then derived from the World Economic Forum, especially under these you know, so-called 17 sustainability goals. So I asked for a response, and his response um, was like, if you're a good teacher, we'll get those that can teach arithmetic and English and science back. Um, but he didn't, didn't, you know. Didn't he avoided answer the, the um, yeah. He avoided the gender, gender ideology, ideology question. Yeah. yeah, bit of a shame there, Hannah. Yeah, yeah. He was pretty yeah. slippery. What other uh, people did get in questions about the Pfizer con, uh, the Pfizer, um, the effects of the jab, the effects of the jab. And he said yep. he'd read that document, but yeah. he obviously has no idea about what but Pfizer's he's, done. That, that's what he said. He said he has no idea with what Pfizer's done. Nor you know the amount of, of injuries are out there and everything like that. So, um, bit of a plug for this. A MOA this Friday, um, 7 p.m. with Farmer James, myself, John O'Frew, and Liz Gunn. Yeah, we'll be um, we'll, we'll be you know basically asking for people with what's going on and what's happened with you, what's happened with your family, what's happened with with anybody around you that you want to share, and also how to bridge that conversation around um, you know. If there's problems within your family and you're not talking with, with family members and it's created, um, I guess, you know, turmoil you know, within families, yeah, because it's really tough. So, well, hopefully, you know, a lot of people will share um, what's going on around around family and and what's going on. So, looking forward to go there. Sorry, can't spin this big plug for us. Okay, <laughs> you needing to go? No, no, just I'm just watching, just yeah, keeping an eye on things. Turn around, there we go. Yeah, um, still people wanting to talk to Christopher. He said that he'd stay and mix and mingle because uh, he doesn't have to rush off to an appointment. Yeah, because uh, his second appointment after this has been um, shut down. Uh, sorry, you know, it's been cancelled, so apparently he was able to go a lot longer. Uh, but I don't know if you guys have double dipped into the questions. So, yeah, there, so there was a good turnout. Yeah, I think he said, uh, uh, Matt Ducey, who's uh, MP here for the Wombat, said it was just on about 500 people here. In our, in our town hall, so it was a good turnout. But um, yeah, here he goes. Here he goes. Cheers. All right, thanks. Cheers, All right, you want to show? Good, bad. One way or the other. What about the WEF? Good, good work. I'm politicians need to be over here. Well, we've gone to the market, we've gone to the, we've gone to the people twice on this, right, MMP, and twice people have turned it down and said they want to stick in the system. So, you know, the voters are never wrong. Uh, they get to choose how we run the country. Yeah, yeah. Chris, one single question. One single question, Chris, if that's possible. <laughs> 
into the Pfizer jab rollout, including the bribery and corruption and the wholesale deaths of New Zealanders. Will you open up that? Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening here is that's Christopher Luxon. He's leader of, of course, the National Party. Ba basically part and parcel of the same um, quagmire you have in Parliament. Nothing but, um, well, are they? It's a cesspit of corruption. Couldn't answer a simple question. Shut down the um, meeting uh, quick as a flash. As soon as people started talking about the jab, the deaths, and all the corruption going on. But he's happy to make sound bites and waffle on forever, saying absolutely fucking nothing. And he just completely ignored you. And now they're taking selfies. Look how good we are. Sickening, isn't it? Chris, when are you going to do an inquiry into the jab injured? There's now hey, the people being injured by the jabs. It's even boys. We hope you do an inquiry into the jab injuries, Chris. Oh, well. There we go. He's um. He doesn't care about you, New Zealand. He comes around here. Trying to um, flog himself off as some sort of man of the land, people's person, telling the farmers he'll have them all the time. Where was he in the last two years you were getting attacked and your farms getting eviscerated? We're going for a debrief at the Hotel. Um, we'll yep, so there he is, there he is, driving off. Won't actually talk about the jab injured. And your taxpayer funded vehicle. Yeah. And he gets paid a lot of money to tell you to piss off. It's an incredible. Yeah. Bye, Chris. Hi Chris, there he is waving. We'll come down says, he, says he's got no idea about the World Economic Forum. Do you want to do a comment? Do you want to do a comment? No. He says he's got no idea about the World Economic Forum. Did you say that? Yes. He's saying to me. Oh, I, I, this is still live. But yeah, so Chris pretty much actually just doing a run in there. Yeah. He said he was going to stay and mix and mingle. Because he had a cancelled appointment. He had a yeah. cancelled appointment so he could stay around longer. Now, Ducey did say he'd only speak about 10, uh, 15, 20 minutes and then have plenty of time for questions. But as soon as they started asking the hard questions, that man wanted to get out of there quick smart. Yeah, so Chris ran off. Apparently he's got no idea about the World Economic Forum. This is the leader of the opposition. And don't forget... Everyone was being nice, taking their turn. Turns, um, I'd already put my place in to have a place so I could ask the question. That I tried to ask as he was scampering out the door like a scolded cat. <laughs> yeah, I'm does. ashamed the man has a bald head. He needs to grow a hair or wear a fucking toupee because there's no way he should look like this. <laughs> oh, what did you say? When you get to um, release the average to five how do, you think you notice, how do you think you noticed we were there? <laughs> Great family outing for Callisburn Media. Love them. <laughs> yeah, so New Zealand. Um, that's the leader of the opposition. Maybe, does Colin want to say a word? Colin's going to the plow. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to go and... We'll probably go talk with a few locals and we'll um, get a debrief from them and we'll come back live shortly. He wants to call us to debrief that with her. Alright, well we'll see you guys there um, and we'll just turn it off and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. I don't even know how do we turn that off, it's not off. <laughs>